right, so I am back at the section I did the other day. Today we're doing it a little bit differently. Um, so we took our bikes to Hinkley Lake and we are back. Uh, you might recognize the BP down there. I made it to my coffee shop finally. So I got a coffee and a breakfast sandwich and we're gonna do three miles to Hinkley Lake and then bike back and I will finally have a section that is all lined up. So uh, I think we're gonna be doing mostly town sections and kind of fun. The Medina Farmer's Market's going on today. Lots of shops, it's really sunny and nice. So uh, let's get to it. This is Root Candles. It smells very good, this giant ass building. But uh, I think we're on State Street and we'll basically take this pretty much to the square, I think. So today is gonna be mostly on the road. So we're following the Buckeye Trail and we're going through Farmer's Market. So you walk through the little Farmer's Market. This is the main square. We're going past the library and going that direction. Champion Creek Multipurpose Trail. So kind of excited. It was fun to walk through downtown Medina, but now we're on just a gravel walking path. There's also this super cute coffee shop called Spokes. So uh, yeah, I think we're about a mile -ish in. So here we go. Little beaver dam. And keep on keeping on on our multi-purpose trail. Lots of sun exposure today. Another little bridge up here. Not scared of me at all. Hi, baby. So we just walked through, I think like apartments. It was very well marked though. You can see the trail sign. Now we're going into Nicholas Park. Multi-purpose trail. This was a good day to pick to uh, bike back. It's a mommy deer and a little baby deer. So this is the fourth and fifth deer we've seen. All right, so we just walked through this entire park and got to the end and I looked at the map and realized I had messed up and we had gone over half a mile past where somewhere we were supposed to turn. So we're currently backtracking through the park to get on the trail to then go about a mile to the bikes. So this was pretty, but not on the bucket trail. All right, so I'm sitting, taking a little break. Um, so all in all, it was like a 0.8 mile detour. So over a mile and a half, I just added, and it's starting to rain. Um, so we're back at where I turned and we were supposed to keep going straight. It's like a little park pavilion and they had like a bathroom. So we're using the bathroom, taking a little break. Then we have about a mile and a half until we are at the bikes and it is starting to rain harder and harder. Um, but luckily once we get to the bikes, um, like I said, it's only like three miles back or so. And technically we've already walked the whole trail. So I don't know if necessarily we have to follow the exact route of the trail, but um, I just like walked through this like disc golf. So it's called Roscoe Ewing. I turned and went down that way and you're supposed to keep following the road. Um, so yeah, it's like, you know, half hour, 40 minutes I added. Uh, but that's okay. It was fun to see. Got to see parts of Medina I've never seen. So uh, there you go. I think we're on Washington Street. There's construction, but this whole side of the road's closed. So uh, just walking down the street. It's fine. I think we're gonna go a couple more lights and we'll be back at Hinkley, or not Hinkley, Medina Lake where the bikes are. All right, so I'm back at Medina Lake. I just got my bike and uh, with my detour, it ended up being six miles. I thought today was only gonna be about three, three and a half, but I added a bunch with 
Um, I was just walking and I thought that the trail would go through the park. I was wrong. I should have been looking at my maps. I didn't see any blue blazes. It was totally a me thing, just enjoying being outside. But I completely closed the section. Um, so I'm back to, I think this is the first section I ever did. And uh, I'll share like a little thing of showing the sections I've done and how they connect. But now I have a bike ride back to the car instead of hiking back. So here we go. All right, hi guys. So uh, it's a couple days later after my hike. I never recorded like a uh, follow-up video at the end. I always like to do that just to provide like some of my thoughts. So if you're still here, thank you. Uh, today's Monday. I did my hike on Saturday, um, but I'm pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed the section that I did. Um, I wasn't even going to vlog it at first. I was just like going to go out there and, you know, I didn't think it was going to be like a big hiking day. I was like, oh, it's three miles. Like, who cares? I'm really glad that I did. I'm really glad that I have these videos to look back on and hopefully they help somebody else who's potentially interested in hiking the Buckeye Trail. Um, but like I said, I, when I first set out to do the Buckeye Trail, like in my mind, I pictured like hiking alone through the woods and I've been pleasantly surprised by how much I'm enjoying like exploring new areas. Uh, walking through the neighborhoods. Um, I probably wouldn't have driven up to Medina and walked through the farmer's market <laughs> for no reason. Um, so I'm kind of glad that the trail took me there. Um, like I said, I'm just really enjoying the places it's taking me. Um, getting to go to a coffee shop that I love that I don't go to often. Um, it's just been really fun. I'm also really excited that I'm like starting to see things connect and piece together. I have been focusing primarily on the Medina section and my goal was to complete the whole Medina section. Um, I'm not sure if that's still my goal. I think I might hop around. Um, this week I am planning a couple more hikes and I am looking at like piecing together a couple of days like I could do an overnight. Um, there is some camping, um, especially if you were willing to like hop off trail and like go camp and then get back on, but there is some on trail so I'm gonna be doing some research there and seeing what I can figure out but as always thank you guys for tuning in if you're here make sure that you are subscribing like comment do all the things to help um, help me grow like I said I'm doing this purely to see um, my own memories when I look back I also really enjoy it and I'm hoping that somebody else will be watching this vlog like I watch all of the hikers that I watch and it'll help them and inspire them so see y'all later